Dr. Corey here with The Brush Stop. I wanted to take a moment to say thank you so much for your continued support and to welcome you back to the practice after these unprecedented times. We also wanted to be sure to outline some of the additional measures that we're taking as a team to ensure the safety of your child as well as your safety when you arrive to our office. So now let's talk a little bit about what your visit with us will look like. For the time being, things have changed a little bit in our office. When you first arrive for your visit, there will be signs posted in our parking lot to text us when you arrive. This will populate a message to our front office so that we can instruct you as to when to come in and when your chair is ready. We're asking for the time being that only one parent arrive with the appointed child. We understand that with siblings this is a little bit difficult, but it is for your safety as well as the team's safety that we try and minimize the amount of people in the office at any given time. Once instructed to come upstairs, a team member will meet you and take your temperature with a touchless thermometer. Both child and parent will have their temperature taken. And at this point, we will also ask you a few questions just to be sure that you haven't had much exposure to COVID in the last 14 days. Once that's all clear, you'll come upstairs to complete your check-in process and your child will be seated immediately. The reception area will be quite bare. You won't notice the iPads or the toys or the magazines for the interim. Um, for right now, just to ensure everyone's safety, we have removed those. We humbly ask that if you feel your child is old enough to come back to the clinical area alone, that you as the parent or guardian sit out in the reception area for the time being. This is just to minimize the number of people in the clinical area. Now, if you feel that your child is not going to be capable of that, or if you have a young child, just let us know. We're happy to help schedule that appropriately. Once brought back, your child will be asked to rinse their mouth with ozonated water that breaks down into hydrogen peroxide. That just helps reduce the viral load in the mouth. Now, if your child's not old enough to rinse, don't worry. We will just use a gauze soaked in ozone water and just gently wipe their teeth with that. Child requires treatment we will be doing everything electronically that means collecting payments through our website or treatment planning will be done via email last but not least and frankly most importantly your child will still receive their prize at the end of the visit now the tokens won't be handed directly to the child instead we'll ask them to point to whichever prize that they would like and one of our team members would be more than happy to help them choose so I realize it's different and it's a lot, but we want to take those extra measures at the brush stop to ensure your safety, our team's safety, and of course, at the end of the day, our family's safety. So thank you so much for your patience, and we are so excited to welcome you back into our practice as soon as possible.